Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video in Android View of the Week. Now in this video, we are going to add a recycler view to our project. The very first step into adding a recycler view to a project is first making sure that the dependencies are up to date. There's a link in the description. Go ahead, get the dependencies, add them to a project and save. Once that is done, you might want to define your recycler view in your layout file. Mine is already defined, you can go ahead and define yours. Next. Make sure that you have a model class for your objects. Now go ahead and take your time and build a model class that matters and captures all your needs. Once the model class is up and running, the next thing that you require is a list item layout. Now this item layout can range from either simple to a complex layout. Mine is here, complex but very simple. Next, you might want to navigate to your main activity and declare the following variables. Then you can initialize them right below here. The next step is to add, is to add an adapter for your recycler view. Now, not to worry, you're going to do this together. So, first of all, just navigate your project under Java and create a new class. I'm going to call this class my adapter. Click OK. Now, of course, I'm going to extend from the super class, and that is the recycler view adapter. I'm going to pass here a custom view holder and call it my view holder. This class, I'm going to give it only two member variables, and one is the context. And a list of type my list, my object. Nicely done. Now the next step is to create a constructor. You're going to only give these two parameters and one is the context and the other one is the list of objects. Nicely done. Now I'm going to initialize my member variables here. Okay, well done. The next step is to create the view holder. Of course, I'm going to extend from the super class and this is the recycler view, view holder. Then I can import this statement. The next step is to create a, a constructor for my view holder. And I'm going to give it only one parameter, and that is a view. Then I'm going to call it superclass and pass in the view. Then I might want to initialize and declare my list item our properties, and that is the text view, my title text view, and description. Finally, I have an image. Then I can come below here and find this use by ID. The same for the description. Description. And also the same applies to the image.
my next image. Well done. Now the next step, we are going to override methods and put them into a class. Now we are going to hit the, the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus O and highlight the following the get, get item count on binary view holder and on create view holder and click OK. You can navigate to our get item count and pass here the object, the object list or the size. Then go back to on create view holder and define here a view and call the layout inflator and pass the context. Then call inflate and we pass our layout resource file that we had initially done. The next param parameter we're going to feed the parent and then we're going to pass false. On return, we're going to return a new object of my view holder and pass in the view. Well done guys, well done. Okay, the next step here is to define my object class. Then we're going to get the, part, the current object in the list. We're going to call hold that resource and we're going to set an image resource to this and we give the object get image resource. The same applies to the title. The M title. And the same also applies to the description. Well done. Now after that, the method is looking well. Now we can save this progress and go back to our main activity class and create an instance of the adapter. And passing the context and my list, that is my data set. Then I'm going to set the adapter with a circular view. Well done. I can just save everything and run the project.